Morning, no nose and one eyebrow. What? There's a man with a problem. It concerns a rooster and a tree. He's on two. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jerry. Tell me about your problem with your rooster and your tree. He won't come down. From where? The He's tree? been up for four weeks and won't come down. Only to eat. Four weeks is a long time to be up a tree. But he comes yeah. down to eat. Yes. And indeed, maybe take the odd sustenance, uh, a little moisture. Mm, possibly, <laughs> but he refuses to come down and we need him down. And how does he behave uh, whilst he's up the tree? Well, he's had a bad upbringing, Jerry, you see. Mm-hmm. He was on death row the for annoying somebody's flowers. And we had to rescue him from that. Yeah. Then he was chased by the horses. Yes. And then the Alsatian had a bit of a go at him. Tell you what, if I was him, I'd be up a tree too. If you're so, being chased by things 15 times your size. Mm, you see, we have so no we experience need, we need that. Geordie's help, um, Jerry. Is the rooster molting at all, or has it got its mm, full plumage? Well, he hasn't got much tail left after the Alsatian. No, you wouldn't, no. But, but we've set a honey trap now for him, Jerry. A honey trap? Yeah, we've bought five uh, wee bumpy hens now. Oh, I see. So we're hoping that that might bring him down. I've fallen into the honey trap before. Yeah, it's we all a, have. It's a good trap. Almost infallible. Indeed. You see, there's always the possibility that your rooster is gay. Well, he was with another one. With another rooster? We, you see, we, we brought two down, and my father-in-law caught them in the umbrella. I'm not quite sure about the umbrella reference there. Would you like to elaborate on that? My father-in-law devised a plan for an umbrella. Yes. You close the umbrella once the rooster's in it? Or? Oh, no, we just, just caught him then. And he carried him below his arms and put him in the house. But once he got out and the horses and the Alsatian had their way with him, he, um, he disappeared up the tree and he won't come down. Well, if a horse had his way with me, I'd be up a tree as well and <laughs> stay there for more than four weeks, I'm beyond. You. Um, You're quite right. So I, I, I'll tell you what, I yeah. think you should leave it alone. Well. I, I see a little nip returning to the air today. Yeah. Once Jack Frost nips his nips his heel, mm. if Geordie's on, perhaps he could he yeah. could tell me. Can't Davy catch the rooster when the rooster's eaten? Uh oh. he's too smart for that, Sean. I'll I'll phone Geordie. All mm. right, well, well, I'll tell you what. We'll ask Geordie maybe for yeah. some opportunity we get uh, in okay. the near future. But in the meantime, keep us posted. Okay. Okay. I'll do that, Jerry. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You know, the amount of things you can learn in this program is mind blowing. Is Geordie there? Yes. Good morning, sir. Hello, Jerry. I had another cow called Molly. Yes. My granny always milked her. And Molly would have let nobody else milk her. But then my granny died. And you knew I could have milked Molly. Now, yes, was hand milking. You know what that time? I know, yes. I put my granny shawl on. That's, that's an act of impersonation. Yes. Maybe perhaps it's not the most ideal topics for this time in the morning. I think even Stephen Nolan would flinch away from that one. Cows have a tendency to squeeze you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keep your girlfriends out of there. No! I don't know what to say. I I mean, they, they would push you up against a wall or something. That's what I mean. Keep your girlfriends out of this. They, they know what they're doing. Is, is that right, Jordy? And you say... Well, you see, that reminds me of... Oh, Saturday night, you squeeze them up against the wall and you know what you're doing. <laughs> Jordy? Jordy? Yeah, I have to go with somebody up the door. All right, hey, then, okay. Hey. All right, Jordy. Bye, bye. He went away very quick, I thought. That, that was rather quick. There must have been somebody at the door, all right. 